darling, I didn't even see you there. <laughs> you know you've been watching too much Bridgerton when? Hey MTV, my name is India and I'm gonna take you into the bedroom. This is where the magic happens, let's go. So today I'm super excited to show you my bedroom. It is finally done, but first, <laughs> Let's go catch up a little bit. I'm gonna put on some foundation and blush and just look alive and then we'll head into the bedroom. Let's go. Girl, I feel like I have so much to catch you up on. It's like not even funny. Um, this week has just been a madhouse. That's a little dark, okay, that's a little dark. So first up, my beautiful husband decided to prank me this week. For those of you who don't follow me on Instagram, I'll catch you up. So Daniel never takes mochi to the groomer. I always do it because I'm always like very specific, like trying not to cut his eyelashes too much and like, I'm just super annoying. I'm that dog mom. So he suggested this week that he would take him and pick him up for me to just like be helpful. And I was like, oh my gosh, baby, like that is so sweet. So he said that he was gonna go take Mochi to PetSmart to go get groomed, and I texted him to tell him exactly what to say to Andrea, the groomer. <laughs> so it's taking forever for him to get a haircut, and he was just getting like a little trim. He had some mats on his back and thighs, so I'm like, okay, maybe they're like dematting him. Anywho, Daniel finally brings him home after work, and I'll just let you see what happened. So now I have a standard poodle on my hands, <laughs> and um, <sighs> honestly, at first I was just in shock, like literal shock. I mean, you heard that sound. That was a sound of pure shock, and I just, I was just in shock. And then afterwards, I just couldn't stop laughing. And honestly, I'm still laughing. Like I still can't stop laughing every time I look at him. I, I just giggle because I think that he looks so ridiculously silly. And it just makes me happy. Hear me out. I am such a like by the books type of person. I'm very rigid. To have a husband that makes life so fun and crazy and surprises me with the most ridiculous things. To me, it's just fun. We always do prank wars together. Um, I've pranked him. Not as good as this, not as good as this. We're gonna have to, we're gonna have to come up with a prank for him, girl. And don't worry, we will video it. It'll be a YouTube video, it'll be epic. I gotta come up with something really, really good. Like maybe like getting a tattoo. I thought about pranking him that I'm pregnant, but I thought like maybe that's like a little cruel. I don't know. <laughs> Um, so anywho, I'm just glad that I have a husband that makes life fun and luckily it is hair and it will grow back because I'm actually not the biggest fan of it. <laughs> Let me know down below how you guys would react if your husband or boyfriend, mom, whoever took your dog <laughs> and brought them back naked. Let me know, be honest. It looks really nice actually, I quite like it. That was the Kosas Tinted Face Oil. It looks very like dewy and pretty. A little yellow for me right now, but I like it. Guys, look at Mochi. I'm going to call him Theodore until his hair comes back because he seems very proper to me. You would do well in Bridgerton. You would do very well. Mochi has decided to stay here, so he's just gonna sit back there for a little bit. <laughs> and um, I'm gonna do a little bit of bronzer and blush and then just change shirts to get ready for the day. And then we will head into the bedroom for the bedroom tour. And for blush today, I'm gonna to be using Flower Beauty's Gel Crush Blush. It smells like a dream. It's the strangest formulation and I love it to pieces. The color pigmentation is beautiful. It reminds me a lot of like a rare beauty blush. Um, it's very natural and like flushed looking on the skin. It's super affordable and it smells like strawberries, I think. I'm gonna fill in my brows really quickly with the Benefit Precisely My Brow Liner. For me on a day-to-day -day basis, it's like brows, blush, bronzer, boom, out the door. I am personally so over the like YouTube perfect full face of makeup vibe. I'm just so much more into like bringing out your natural beauty. I cannot be bothered to do a full beat. I really cannot. Now that I've got my makeup done, let's head into the closet, change, and then do my room. 
Welcome to my closet. I have half the closet over here. Daniel has half the closet over there. And you know, we make it work. It's a decent size closet. It's not big, it's not small, it's not really a walk-in, but it works. So, the top that I'm gonna be wearing today, what is it, might you ask? I am obsessed, and I wanna share it with you guys because I purchased it in four different colors because I'm crazy. Um, so it is the new Skims body suits, and I am obsessed. So I like to get a size small. They're crazy stretchy, which is perfect if you are someone with a larger chest area um, <laughs> and you want it to be able to stretch to fit your chest but then come back in at your waist. This is a very, very flattering bodysuit. And even though it is more form-fitting, even if you have like a little problem area in your tummy or whatever you're insecure about, this is a very stretchy material that kind of like snatches you in and just works its magic. To the bedroom tour. So this was the last area actually of the room that I did. I just finished it and I'm so happy with it. Ah, my body suit, I just popped the button people. Okay, so this is our dresser. It's from West Elm. I absolutely love it. We got it when they had a sale. Um, I thought it was very reasonably priced with the sale. Uh, it holds a lot, a lot of stuff and Daniel and I really enjoy it. So this is Daniel's side and this is my side. Um, Daniel actually got this beautiful, beautiful picture from one of my favorite female photographers. She like travels the world and takes photos and he got it framed for me and I love it. Thank you, baby. You're welcome. And then over here we have my perfume collection. Um, I was thinking about making a YouTube video like going over my favorite perfumes. Let me know if that's something you guys would want to see. And then right over here, um, I cut some foliage from the yard, illegally. Okay. And then right over here, we have my nightstand. So Daniel and I have matching nightstands on both sides. These are from Target. They are super affordable and awesome. We've got some gorgeous lamps from World Market. Um, of course, coasters from Anthropology, and then some of the books that I'm reading. Currently, I'm reading a Christian book about marriage, uh, How to Gain a Million Followers. Feel free to subscribe. Uh, <laughs> the so new Sophie Kinsella book. It's like a cute, like love chick flick kind of book. And then a thriller. My favorite chapstick. My favorite candle. And then an orchid. These are actually, I think. I think orchids might become might have become my favorite flower. They're just so, so delicate and dainty. And then in my nightstand drawer in the mornings, I've been taking my Care Of vitamins in the mornings instead because in the last video that I did with uh, Care Of, you guys said that I shouldn't be taking vitamins at night. So now I'm taking them in the morning. So I've been taking Care Of vitamins for just about two months now. And as I'm progressing into the vegetarian area of life. Um, I think it's important for me to have vitamins that are kind of like filling in maybe those areas that I'm not getting certain nutrients. I feel like I always get so overwhelmed with vitamins. I've shared this with you guys before because everyone's like, oh, you need to take vitamin D. Oh, honey. Oh, you need to take vitamin C. Oh, vitamin C. No, 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 no. You know, it just gets like overwhelming. So my personal supplement regime includes ceramides, fish oil, a multivitamin, of course, vegetarian collagen, and rhodiola. So taking their quiz that's tailor-made to your lifestyle, your diet, and all that jazz I found has been really, really helpful for me personally. And something that I really love about each individual pack is that they are compostable. So this is good for the environment. Check out the link in the description box down below if you want to take the quiz to see what your personal vitamin regimen would be with care of. And if you use code INDIA50, you will get 50% off. All right, to the bed. <laughs> Welcome to the bed. <laughs> Me, Mochi, and Daniel. <laughs> so this bed is my favorite. I'm obsessed with it. It's from Pottery Barn Teen. So it was actually a little bit cheaper. That's my big tip for you today. If you love Pottery Barn, I feel like they have amazing quality pieces, but if you get them from the kids section, they're actually a little bit cheaper and just as good of quality. So this bed is from Pottery Barn Teen. 
Um, it is a queen size, much to Daniel's dismay. He would love a king bed. Hopefully one day that will happen. Mochi was kicked off set. So back to <laughs> back in action here. The sheets are from West Elm. Uh, the comforter, I really, really love it. It's very simple, but adds a little bit of texture. And then this pillow is from like World Market or Target. Um, I love anthropologies, like big fluffy pillows, but they're just so darn expensive and I can't, I can't quite commit. You know, now that I'm thinking about it, I feel like all of my big pieces of furniture are very bold colors. Like I have a blue bed, a pink couch. <laughs> Daniel, what do you think of our bold colored furniture? The couch is, looks good, but not comfortable. <laughs> It's really not the most comfortable couch. Okay, on to the other side, Daniel's side. All right, now this is Daniel's side of the bed. Of course, we have the same nightstand, same um, lamp, and then some of his books. This is a little bunny Daniel actually gave me. Just, I love the bunnies. <laughs> and then this is an old, like, vintage Whoops. magazine. <laughs> My dad actually broke the glass on this frame when I was moving in. And this is an old vintage magazine that I got from like an antique store that I thought was so cute. Um, but I need to like tape it, tape it in there. Um, and then Daniel got me this beautiful, beautiful plant from World Market. I love greenery. I love greenery in rooms and decor. And I think this one looks pretty real. I mean, you know, pretty good. Welcome to my reading nook. <laughs> so, this is my favorite chair ever. It was a little overpriced, not gonna lie, but I really love it. I think it's so cute. It is from World Market and I absolutely adore it. Um, this is a blanket that I stole from my mother's house. Hi, mom, thank you so much. Um, and we've got some some bedroom secrets down there. No, just kidding. <laughs> Dana looks so embarrassed. Honestly, I don't really sit in this corner too very much like ever. Um, I probably should because I think it's just like so precious and you can just curl up and I love it. Um, and of course, a floor length mirror is always important for trying on yo outfits. And these curtains are amazing. They are, um, what's it called when they take away all the light? Blackout. They are blackout curtains. Uh, they are from Pottery Barn. They're super, super thick. They do the job. And I think that they're gorgeous. I made sure to hang the gold rod significantly higher than the actual doors to kind of just like elongate and lengthen the room um, because it's really not a big room, but we love it. it. It's perfect for us and yeah. And I forgot to mention really quickly, this mirror honestly like makes the whole room in my opinion. It is so stunning. I love how it looks like very antique -y but yet it's very cool and trendy with our little Jaguar friends. Um, this I got for Christmas last year from my parents. This was my big Christmas gift. It's from Anthropology. I will link everything in the description box down below, of course. It is on the pricier end, but honestly, you will love it. That is a wrap on today's video. <laughs> I really hope that you enjoyed it. I genuinely had so much fun filming this. I love my room. I really do. Obviously, I picked everything out along with the help of my mom. Um, it's just a room that's serene and peaceful at the end of a long day, but yet it still has unique pieces that make it feel like me and make it feel special and like my style. I believe that that is everything. Big thank you to Care Up for sponsoring a portion of today's video. I really love their vitamins and if you want um, to take the quiz, I have it linked in the description box down below. You can use code INDIA50 for 50% off and I really think you'll enjoy them. Honestly, it's, it's made my life simpler, <laughs> which is always great. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope that you enjoyed today's video. Let me know down below what you would do if your husband shaved your curly baby. I love you, Mochi. I still love you. I still love you, Mochi.